And hi, Taya. Okay, this is going to be hopefully helpful. An if function checks to see if something's the case. So we could check if Ralph has brown hair, then it's the case that Ralph's incredibly handsome. If Ralph doesn't have brown hair, why, then it's the case that Ralph isn't so handsome, right? It's, a, it's an assessment of something. So let's get something a little bit more practical going here. And I'm going to share the screen with you here. And away we go. We see less of Ralph, which is a good thing because he's not that incredibly handsome, right? Okay. So here's the spreadsheet that you were working with. And what they want us to check out here in number six is, is it the case that um, this value here, the beginning balance, is greater than some other value? In this case, zero. And if it is greater, then we want to know how much is it, right? That's what we're trying to figure out. So in we go, and we click in here, and you'll see that I already have all the functions up. If is a logical function. You already know how to find that. So we click on if, there's the formula builder. So what it wants us to test here is if is H4, so we click that in there, and is that greater than, so we put in the greater than sign, and then we put in zero. Well, what do we want in here if the case is true? If H4 here is in fact greater than zero? Well, what we do then is it says they want us to return the value when J4 is subtracted from D5 multiplied by 12. And luckily for us, they're kind enough to give us the formula to use because I'm lazy. I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste it. And this is what they want us to have as the output if it's true. They're going to do some mathematics on this, right? You're basically going to make a calculation. And if it's false, then the formula should return the value of zero. Simple as that. Make sense? Pretty straightforward. I hit the return button, enter key, and there's the value that it returns. And what it did is it um, subtracted the value of um, A4 or J4 from the value in the cell D5 after the value in cell D5 is multiplied by 12. <laughs> Make sense? And then here, let's finish it off. And down it comes. Now, notice it doesn't have um, a dollar value um, sign in here. So what we can do here is we can go to um, our home page or our home tab, we can go to um, cells and we can format the cells and we go down here and we format the cells and we're gonna do um, currency, a simple format with two decimal spots. You know how to do this, but I'm gonna go over it anyway. And see, now you have the number values come out which should match exactly what they have on the bottom of your instruction sheet. Okay. I'm going to assume that I have actually um, presented this here in a way that makes um, incredible sense to you. And I'm going to stop sharing. Um, I, I hope I have. Um, if it doesn't make sense, shoot me an email. Let me know um, if I can walk you through this again. Anyway, um, you're doing a really great job here. Um, and um, Taya, I know you're going to be able to keep moving forward. Um, keep practicing. Um, make sure that um, you're walking through those um, um, practice activities on there. And let me know if you get stuck again. Okay? Bye.